Listen to this. This is the sound of the garden giving us a gift. Food. Food sustains our life. It creates culture and is our connection with the land, water, and community. When you look at our current food system, where intensified farming practices like monoculture, heavy chemical sprays, over-tilling the land causing soil degradation, continues to negatively impact the very thing that feeds us, do you see a disconnection? If we can bridge the gap between our food and the surroundings in which we thrive and operate by involving actions in agriculture that are actually beneficial and improve environment and society, we can create a healthier reality, not only for us, but also for the generations to come. My name is Anissa, and I was sprouted in Colorado and planted here on Big Island, where I have been farming and establishing my roots for almost seven years. Dreams brought me here, and my relationship with the land, the ocean, and the people continues to inspire me. Over 1,300 years ago, people from South Pacific islands like Samoa, Tahiti, and the Marquesas set out on the va'a, or canoes, to the Hawaiian Islands. They carried with them several important plants to support their life, and one of those was ulu, or breadfruit. Breadfruit is a nutritious starch that is full of vitamins, minerals, fiber, and protein. It is very versatile, and can be eaten in all stages of maturity. The Hawaiians would commonly eat it pounded like poi, or baked in a fire and eaten like bread. When it is young, it has the essence of artichoke heart. In its later mature stage, the texture, color, and flavor of breadfruit is very similar to a potato. It is delicious in soups, stews, or as french fries. When it is ripe, it can be made into dessert because the texture becomes soft and the taste sweet and fruity. In Mo'olelo, or Stories of Hawaii, the breadfruit tree represented abundance and security. On Big Island alone, more than 300,000 Hawaiians thrived, and their success was due to their mala, or gardens. In Kona, the Malakalu Ulu was a forest of breadfruit that extended more than nine square miles and provided a secure source of nourishing food. The old Ulu forests of Hawaii were cut down during the plantation era after contact with Captain Cook. Farmers then planted cash crops like coffee and macadamia. Amazingly, ulu trees continue to shoot up from remnant root systems where the forest once stood. Today, Big Island has a population of about 200,000 and we import 85% of our food. We are at the mercy of a distribution system that requires traveling a distant 2,000 miles across the Pacific Ocean. Under that circumstance, the Big Island has only about two weeks worth of food. So, we are extremely vulnerable to natural disasters and disruptions in distribution. There is a project on island that is working to increase Hawaii's food security and sustainability by retracing indigenous wisdom. I am a member of Malakalu Ulu Cooperative, a farm revitalizing the ancient breadfruit belt of Kona. We belong to a hui, or a group, of 12 other Ulu farmers from around island. Together, we are called the Hawaii Ulu Producers Cooperative. We established the summer of 2016, and so far we have harvested and processed over 12,000 pounds of ulu for local schools, restaurants, and businesses. Our project is growing, and seeds of change are taking root. However, ancestral knowledge of how to grow and prepare this food is endangered here. I will go to Samoa to learn the art of ulu. Samoa is similar to Big Island in many ways, such as climate, population, and ecology. Except, ulu is a main staple, and their ancient and extensive ulu forests remain intact, and the prevalence of Samoan heritage makes it a hot spot to learn more. My mission is to learn and practice diversified agroforestry with breadfruit. 
please join me in an effort to bring back indigenous wisdom for a sustainable agriculture in Hawaii that is healthful for the people and the land by going to my GoFundMe campaign and donating. The funds raised will support my educational venture and my endeavor to redevelop ulu as a crop for Hawaii. I will document my findings and share my experience with local farmers, organizations, and communities. When we are a part of an effort that actually enhances the environment, we are creating a culture that is connected to nature. Ola ka aina, ola na kanaka. When the land is healthy, so are its people.